This video here on Debaco University is going to focus on explosion chemistry. So looking at that combustion uh, that occurs and results in this explosion, what are some different examples of this? So starting with just chemistry of an explosion in general. Well, essentially a combustion reaction is very similar to that of a fire. The major difference though is the speed of the reaction. Damage is caused by rapidly expanding gases in a confined area. So again, there is still a quote fire present, but this combustion means that there is definitely a speed associated with this reaction as well. Now the explosion is a sudden release of chemical or mechanical energy caused by an oxidation or decomposition reaction that produces heat and rapid expansion of gases. Here we may see it as like a 4th of July fireworks, for example, a very controlled explosion. And here we see definitely a large fireball uh, indicating over a large area here. Now there needs to be a reagent. So the reagent is a substance used to produce a chemical reaction uh, to direct measure or produce other substances. There's kind of that initially um, starting substances. We have reagents also in various other aspects of chemistry. Here we're looking to produce that chemical reaction and the reagents can be quite varied. We're looking at a high uh, explosives. So high explosives are chemicals that oxidize extremely rapidly, producing heat, light, and also a shock wave. If we look down here below me, we can clearly see the evidence of that shock wave here of the explosions occurring on this battleship. Uh, these will explode even if not confined. Uh, so keep in mind, high explosives don't have to necessarily be confined to produce uh, their end result. And again, we capture that nice image here. You can definitely see evidence of that shock wave that is present. Then we have our low explosives. So keep in mind, low explosives are chemicals that oxidize rapidly, producing heat, light, and a pressure wave. We look at kind of that pressure wave, these will explode only when they are compressed or confined in an area there. So slight differences there from the high explosives, uh, but again, explosives still uh, very dangerous and things to be considered when we're doing an investigation.